off rip and it's those sometimes you got to make a TikTok to break it down to them so uh anyways shout out to fly j bro. Okay, yo what's up right. welcome back to the channel my name is rashad and this is the road 5k subs comment down below if my uh freestyle skills are getting better i just watched 11 hours of basketball if you see my eyes it's because i just watched 11 actually it's allergies but uh yeah action-packed day let's get to it best two games of the night ironically or the day were the final two games <laughs> shout out to jada walker getting it done for baylor on the road in virginia tech oh i was so nervous bah, 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 and why were you nervous for shot is because right before the tournament started they announced that liz kitley their star player was out for virginia tech <laughs> excuse me she tore her acl so liz get well soon um i don't know how this is gonna affect you know your draft stock i don't know if you're still gonna get drafted or if you just drop from the first round to the third round or go second round and someone drafts and stash you or if atlanta drafts and stash you i don't know what's gonna happen in that but get better soon amazing career in college at virginia tech um salute to you liz kidley so right before the tournament they announced she was out with the acl and I switched my bracket up because I had a few more seconds before they started play and everything was locked in. So um, I had Virginia Tech winning their first game but losing to Baylor in the second round. And man, <clears throat> and I tell you, I was nervous, but Jada Walker came through for me. Uh, Blackwell only had one point and like four fouls. And she missed another shot at the basket late there in the fourth quarter too. And I was just like, bro. Like, like this can't happen. Nikki Collin was just heated on the on the sideline. She's just pacing and heated. And, oh, man, now she she felt the exact same way I felt. Shout out Nikki Collin, Atlanta Dream legend. Uh, but anyways, that was that was a good game. And then this last game, the announcers, he called it the best game of the day. I don't know. But that game was pretty good, too. Cameron Brink fouled out. Uh, in the final couple minutes of regulation. And then so Stanford just had to get it done. Had, had to get it done, excuse me. And, and uh, Kiki, uh, she had 41 points and she had 39 shots. You know, that's a bit different than Adi Crook's 40. You know, Adi had the 40 off the 20 ball. Off the 20 shot attempts, that's where she had it. She went like 15 for 20 and then, you know, got the rest of the points from the free throw line. So. Uh, salute to Adi Crooks for her 40 ball on Friday in a 20 point comeback win against who was that against <clears throat> Maryland and you know um, but uh, Adi she like late in the game she was just missing offensively like point blank shots at the rim and I just didn't know what was kind of going on there uh, you know I, I think maybe they got in her head when they stopped her a couple times at the rim and, and then you know but it was just kind of like unlike her versus what she's been doing for the rest of the season. So, yes, uh, Iowa State hit some big threes. So they hit some big threes. They played, they played up to the moment. Didn't back down at all on the road, and it looked like it was going to be Ole Miss all over again, man. And I was like, Stanford does this every year. <laughs> they choke before the Sweet Sixteen on their home floor, and they didn't do it. They didn't do it. So salute to Stanford for holding down. Shout out to Kiki. Um, and then shout out to uh, who was hitting them threes uh, down the stretch. She hit them two big threes. Was it? Uh, no, it wasn't LaPolo. Um, was it Hannah Jump? Uh, oh, it was D Dimitri. Brooke Dimitri. She, she was the one that was hitting the big threes. Um, she hit two big threes, one in regulation and one in overtime. <laughs> And that was kind of like the separator for Stanford. Uh, marathon. Marathon game right there. And Stanford just outlasted them. Uh, I, I'm trying to say everything before I go to the bracket. Because then once I go to the bracket, it's just going to be bracket talk after that. Uh, Oregon State uh, beat Nebraska pretty handedly. Uh, the game before that was the LSU game. I want to say. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm skipping. Uh, Texas, Alabama. Texas, Alabama. KD was in the building to see his twin, Madison Booker. And, you know, Maddie put on the show, man. What can I say? That girl can dribble the ball, bruh. She's 6'1". Eh, 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 eh. 
e, e, behind the back, oop, between the leg, oop, do, do, do. the little stutter step she could do. <laughs> but the mid range is crazy. Mid range, some serious. The jumper is butter. It looks like it's gonna go in every single time, and that's just from. She's a sicko. She's one of them dudes. I think, uh, like, her dad is, like, a basketball coach. I think he used to play professionally. So he trained her to be, like, a sicko from day one. And she just has it in her, man. So shout out to uh, Matt, Maddie, Maddie Booker once again. Uh, the future is bright, as they always say. 21.6 rebounds for her. Aaliyah Moore, 21 points, 10 rebounds. She had a couple... Big cleanup uh, boards over there when, when Maddie was, you know, kind of going ISO, taking over. You know what, what I'm saying? Like, with Kiki taking them, uh, what she took, like 30 shots tonight? Like, hey, it's that season where your star players got got to let it go. You got to unload the clip, man. This is when we go big or go home. So, uh, it's that season. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so when Maddie was going uh, ISO ball, like, get her, you know, uh, offense, you know, uh, and she missed the shot, you know, a lot of times Leah Moore was there to clean up and get him a second chance uh, opportunities. That announcer was very concerned with Texas just missing a lot of layups at the rim, some of their other players and stuff like that. And he said, like, championship habits, that, that's going to bite you one way or another down the stretch if you keep missing these layups. And it's been their play all season. That's what the announcer said. Hit <laughs> that game. Uh, should we go? Okay, I guess we can talk about the LSU game. All right, the big mama. Rah, rah, rah. So first things first, I want to say, get get it ain't my fault featuring NLE Chopper from Big Five. Hey, 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 Bobby, that that was a little fake of me to do that, but hey, but hey, man, I can't do nothing but respect it. You know what what J Cole said. Uh, told her about us all what we get paid, but I'd love to see a black woman get paid. Come on, man. So, you know, she's uh, she's not a business woman. She's a business woman. Watch her do a business. Dang. See, the thing is, a lot of people don't get the, the references. Of, come on, man. These are cultured, multi-layered references. When Kendrick did what he just did the other day, and the reference man had to break it down for you in TikTok. It's a, it's a difference. It's a difference. It's those that are cultured and those who know who know. Off rip. And it's those. Sometimes you got to make a TikTok to break it down to them. So, uh, anyways. Shout out to Fly J, bro. Shout out to Angel Reese, man. Um, but like I said, bro. LSU was not locked in coming into the tournament, bro. And it's showing. It's showing. They were not locked in. Flaw J had to carry them on their back once again. They are not locked in as a unit, bro. And it's not looking good. And the past two times, it looked like talent. Literally just pure talent is what dragged them and got them that separation and got them out of there, squeaked them out of there. They won by, what, 20 today? But it wasn't that close. I mean, but but it wasn't that that, uh, that far. The best player fouled out in the third quarter. And speaking of that, I have no problem with Angel Reese trolling the girl as she's going to the bench and crying in her last college game. I have no problem. It's sports. Hello? You play to win the game? Like, if you have a problem with it, go bake. Go bake. If you have a problem with it, go bake. Huh? If you have a problem with it, go... Uh, let me think. Go weld. Go work in a coal mine. If you have a problem with it, go go work in a factory. This is what we do in sports. If you have a problem with rap beef, leave rap. Leave hip hop. Go listen to jazz. It's competitive. These are sports. This is what we do. And also, if you're going to play the villain role, if you're going to talk that talk, Got to talk that talk all the time. You can't just talk that talk when it's convenient for you and it's cool for you. You got to say that too. Because it's sometimes with certain people, and I'll put a name on it. It's sometimes with Angel, you know what I mean? She'll be talking that talk. And then when it's time to post up, it's, oh, where she at? Huh? 
You know what I mean? So, I'm not the only person saying this. Multiple other people are saying this. So, A, I'm all for trash talk. I'm all for taunting. I'm all for all of these things. I just feel like if you want to do it, you got to keep that same energy year round in every atmosphere. If you know you got a mouth on you, that's great. What Michael Jordan say in the last change? It's easy for a man to talk on you up. But a real man, he can talk when the game tied or when he's down. Don't talk when it's convenient. Talk that talk and back up that talk with your actions. That's for everybody. That's for every athlete. So that's one side of this uh, of the coin. And the other side of the coin, what she actually did today, I don't have a problem with. So that's what I think about the LSU game. Uh, and shout out Anissa Morrow as well. Anissa Morrow been been playing pretty well. And I know some people are saying Anissa Morrow is the best player on the team. And I know some people are saying Fla J has been the best player on the team since the SEC championship. So, you know, different strokes for different folks. Everybody sees things different ways. All LSU needs to do is keep the main thing the main thing and not be a disappointment of a super team by not even getting to the Final Four. That's what LSU needs to be worried about. So, but like I say, you got to shout out Fly J. <laughs> got to shout out Fly J. She the one that dropped the whole song on Friday and then promoted that. Got to shout out Fly J. She doing it on both ends of the floor, dog. She playing defense. She running in transition. She playing offense. She, come on, man. She getting better and better every single game, bro. I told y'all in high school, y'all seen the spray bear. Y'all seen it. If y'all haven't, if you're new to the channel, this is the World of 5K Subs. Just look it up. Rashad Bellick and Flaje Johnson Sprayberry. Kid is different, bro. And she's getting better every single time. That's concerning. That should scare you, America. What are we talking about right now? Somebody say, get to the point. Since I was sitting on my couch for the past 11 hours watching the games, I had my laptop in front of me, and occasionally I would check it. And so I, like, for the first time in a while, saw, like, all the all of my comments in real time. And someone was like, please just get to my point. And I said, you know what? The beautiful thing about YouTube is you can go into settings in the corner, and you can speed up a video. So if someone's speaking for 30 minutes or something and you want to speed past the section, you can put me at times three, times two. And then I'll be speaking like... Blah, 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 blah. And then you can go back to regular speed when you feel like just playing the video. It's a wonderful concept. I don't know. I, I didn't make, I'm not Zuckerberg. You know? But yes, that's uh, uh, the LSU game. The, the other game I won, uh, what was the other game? The game before that. It was uh, South Carolina, South Carolina Massacre. South Carolina, them jokers won by 80 points. <laughs> they was talking down on Deja. I don't do Deja like that. You know Deja, a friend of the, uh, of the channel. Shout out to Deja Kelly, man. Shout out to uh, to Miss Teresa, Deja Mama. Um, shout, out to, uh, shout out to her bro as well, her brother on the AAU circuit. I think he's still in high school, if I'm not mistaken. Shout out to whole UNC Chapel Hill. Shout out Michael Jordan. Shout out Jordan Brand. Shout out Roy Williams. Shout out uh, Dean Smith. Shout out Marvin Williams. Shout out uh, Rashad McCann. Shout out Ivory Lada. But, uh, you know, I say all this to say, you know, yeah, lay off all, off that girl. Uh, she, she was trying to do it by herself. Bless her heart. Lord bless it. And uh, Deja just couldn't do it by herself. And like y'all said, man, two-way lay. What can I say? Two-way lay. Two-way lay did what she had to do. And, you know, all season it's kind of been like, at least from my perspective, South Carolina didn't really have just an outright undeniable, this is the star, this is the face of the team. Like, I thought at the beginning of the season it was Cordoso. Then at some points I thought it could have been Raven Johnson. And then at some points... It looked like Lay. Like recently, it looked like Lay. Other times, it looked like Chloe Kitts was the most consistent player. Other times, it looked like Ashlyn Watkins. Cheese was the most consistent player. So, 
And other times it looked like pow pow. You know, like uh, I know my bad. I I knew it took a while to get to pow pow. It is just charging to to my head and my heart. But um, yeah, all six of them players look like the best player on the team at some point this season. And so right now it's looking like Leto, and she doing it two ways, bro. And she was knocking down them threes unconsciously. The whole team was. They weren't missing in the first half. The first half, they weren't missing threes, period. I ain't never seen something like that. Just Well, I have. I ain't going to lie. it has been a couple of NBA playoff series where I've seen Jokers hit 23 threes. The Cleveland Cavaliers came into Atlanta a few years ago. And hit about 23 threes with Shannon Fry and them boys. Kevin Love and them boys hit about 23 threes in Atlanta. But, yeah, uh, for the most part, I ain't seen many performances. I'll say it like that. Or they just making everything, bro. And Lay making everything. And you already know how she is with the handle. You already know how she is with the finger roll. The jelly package is is there. You put the jump shot and the defense with it, bro. Bro, what are you going to do? And how are you going to, like, what are you going to do when you got five freshmen like Audie Crooks, Laser Full Valley, Michaela Williams, Hannah Hildago, Juju Watkins, Madison Booker. That's six freshmen, bro. They all on a different level. They are not freshmen. What are you going to do about that? That's crazy, dog. But, uh, okay, that was that game. Uh, Duke. Duke upset my bracket because I'm pretty sure I picked Ohio State because I like uh, Colty. The big and JC, shout out JC. Been rocking with her since last season when I reacted to her going into the drive. But um, yeah, yeah. They let me down. Ohio State let me down. Anyways, let's get into the full thing. Tomorrow we got another pack day, so I'm gonna wrap it up for y'all after looking at this bracket for today. Oh, and I'm working on some stuff to get uh to get somebody on this week. So don't think it's just gonna be a solo week of just me, 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 me. I'm working to get somebody here um, at some point this week. I'm trying to see your schedules in line. I'm going for some. Those are the only hints I'll give. I'm going for some high up people. So high up people, as y'all know, most of them jokers got 80 jobs. So I'm just trying to pull them away for just an hour to get them on here to give y'all the best content possible. All right, here we go. Oh, also, appreciate all the positive comments. I've been getting a lot of positive comments lately. And, you know, and I, I just feel like I haven't acknowledged y'all enough and, like, gave y'all that love verbally and stuff like that. Like, I really appreciate all the positive comments. Like, and y'all be really nice to me, bro. Y'all be talking about the interviews. Y'all, like, good interview, great questions, this and that. Or, like, sometimes the videos, y'all be like, yeah, that's why Rashad, like, some of y'all always be on my side with my opinions, regardless if you actually agree with them or not. And I appreciate that, John. So shout out to y'all, man. Here comes the bracket. <laughs> and then we wrapping up. So I'm at 35.9%. I'm still ranked in the 2 million. I know I, know I ain't doing that bad, bro. Like, right, let's be real now. Bro, uh, Kansas State... Kansas State done lost, bro. What the heck? I told I told y'all that they've been BSing all season. Kansas State. Them jokers was like ranked as high as like two at some point. Ioka Lee came back, everything. But they talking about that joker, uh uh the uh the coach. They mad at that coach. Anyways, LSU kept me good. Nebraska, Oregon State. Oh, I had A and M. Dang, I had a and them going a little, making a little run. What's going on with Janiah Barker, man? What's going on, bro? Uh, Ole Miss. I got Notre Dame over Ole Miss. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was on point on that. All right, Texas. Yeah, you know I had Texas. And then Tennessee tomorrow. All right, Stanford. So Stanford. Oh, okay, I got all of these right. I got this one wrong. I knew I got that one wrong. Uh, got Baylor right over Virginia Tech from that switch up. Uh, okay, okay. So UCLA is gonna have to win tomorrow night. Excuse me. 
and that's it that's pretty much the bracket so yeah uh if you are new to the channel this is the road 5k subs my name is Rashad I ain't playing with these scrubs gotta keep it going all straight off the top Young Milligan and I can't even stop. Let's go. Gotta keep it going when I'm rhyme so tight. Young Milligan and I did this all night. I watched the games for 11 whole hours and I did what I did and I ain't even take a shower. Just kidding. I took a shower. Stop playing with me, man. Hygiene is important. Take out.